Hey, my name is Corey Swain. I'm from Advisors Excel, and I am here to give independent financial advisors a proven path to run on so they can grow faster and grow the business that they want to build um, in their marketplace. And so today's video, I'm going to go through the harsh realities as well as dreams of the digital marketplace. And the reason why I'm shooting this video is because I'm sure you might be out there wondering, maybe I should be spending more time on Facebook. Maybe I should be posting more on Twitter. Or maybe I should be doing a newsletter. Or maybe I should be on Instagram or whatever, or Tumblr or whatever else is out there. Um, but you're not really sure where to spend your time. You have a limited amount of it and a little bit amount of resources out there as well. Where do you put your hard earned marketing dollars to grow your business? And so that's why I'm shooting this video. So we're going to go through the dreams and realities of digital marketing. So right now, what I've seen and what I know to be proven to work uh, for financial advisors across the nation is this side of things. But we'll go over to the dreams first. And the reason why I'm saying that they're dreams is because yeah, they, they're dreams. Do they exist? Do they look like they exist? Do they look like they're going to work? Yes, there's a reason why they exist. It's because they work for some people, for the independent financial advisor at this time, and that doesn't want to spend hours and hours and hours of resources trying to build a massive following and be an influencer out there. I think your time is better well spent over here on the reality side of things. So your YouTube, your Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, webinars, LinkedIn, podcasts, do they work for some advisors? Yes. Uh, does Advisors Excel have resources to help you build this? Yes, we do. But do I think that... In my opinion, where you should be spending your time and resources is over here. You need to be doubling down on the reality. And let me go through those. So Facebook to live events. Using Facebook ads to fill up your live events. That means your dinner seminars, your women's seminars, your uh, college classes, your other classes, your workshops, whatever you want to call them. Using Facebook to fill those up is currently working. Don't compare them to your regular mail. They're a little bit different because you're using digital, but they are working. So if you're not doing them, I'd say to test them out. If you have tried them in the past, I'd try them again, even if they didn't work the first time because there are vendors that are doing this over and over and over again. Second thing and third thing, I would say to build these things up together, but the email, email is not dead. You most likely you are watching this video because of an email I sent you. So case in point, people are still reading their emails and they're still looking at your emails that you're sending out to them as long as it's valuable to them. They're going to be engaged. They're going to read your stuff if you provide value. If it's just sales, sales, sales all the time, they're not going to open it. Or if it's just your typical financial stuff that they don't want to read, they're not going to open that either. So you got to make sure it's engaging and, and, uh, and valuable to them. And then on top of that, to double it up, texting. If you have their mobile number and their email address, you have way more power than all of this stuff over here. A lot of times what people are trying to do over here is build these two things right here. So if you can get these two most powerful things on somebody's cell phone, um, you've got all the power you need to get them into your live events, to get them to your client events, to get them to perk up for a first appointment. So my advice to you off this video, let's double up on email and double up on texting and get their mobile numbers, get their email addresses and build that up. I just saw an advisor that got another multiple on his business when he was selling it because he had a few thousand names on his email address that he knew were engaging. They were suspects, they weren't even clients, but he had another multiple on his business when he sold it because of that. So I can't stress it enough. Let's build these things up, double down on that, get more engaging on email, get more engaging on texting because it's proven to work. I've seen lots of advisors that are doing it right now. And so if you wanna know what's going on, the harsh realities and dreams of digital marketing, that's it. Hopefully it was valuable for you and uh, let's talk soon. Thanks.